Hi, I'm Intan from Faculty of Engineering Technology, University of Technical Malaysia, Malacca. In today's class, I'm going to share with you on the first chapter of Principle of Electrical and Electronics, Introduction to Principle of Electric Circuit. At the end of this class, you should be able to identify the basic element in electrical systems and electrical units, potential difference, electrical measurement instrument, symbols of electrical source, and components in a simple electrical connections, and finally, the series and parallel circuit. There are five modules in this chapter. In the first module, you will learn about the SI unit, common prefixes and circuit symbols. Module 2 is about the introduction to electric circuit. In module 3, we will see some basic in DC and AC. In module 4, it's about the atomic structure and electrical charge. And finally, module 5 covers the voltage, current and resistance. Now, let's look into our first module. As an engineer, we deal with measurable quantities. Measurement must be communicated in a standard language that virtually all professionals can understand. SI unit is the international system of units that is adopted by General Conference in 1960. Here are a list of SI unit that is commonly used in electrical engineering field. You have to remember the quantity and units with their respective symbols. Here are some power of 10, both positive and negative or common prefixes used in this subject. The scientific notation provides convenient method to represent large and small numbers and to perform calculations involving such numbers. Next, you can see these electronic circuit symbols which you will be familiar of throughout this subject. In the first row, it shows the symbol of conductor wires. In the second and third row are some of the passive elements electronic devices. At the bottom is the symbol of ground and measuring instruments, while on the right side here, we have symbols of voltage sources. Alright, next, we move into the second module. Basic electric circuit theory is important in electrical engineering and always an excellent starting point for a beginner in engineering education. In electrical engineering, we are often interested in communicating or transferring energy from one point to another. Hence, this requires an interconnection of electrical devices known as electric circuit. A basic electrical system consists of source to produce electrical energy that is then transferred through the transmission system. The electrical energy will be controlled before it is finally transferred to the user loads. In real application, the electrical energy source could be from a generator, battery, photovoltaic or a socket outline. For a control device, it could be the switches or any other advanced electronic devices. As for the loads, it could be any electrical appliances we have in our house or anywhere else. There are two types of circuit, which is open circuit and closed circuit. An open circuit is an incomplete electrical circuit in which no current flows. A closed circuit is a complete electrical circuit through which current can flow with a voltage is applied. Now, we will learn how to measure current, voltage and resistor in a circuit. To measure current, we need an emitter and in this example, we will measure current across a simple circuit with DC power supply and a resistor. First, open the circuit and connect the two leads of emitter in the circuit so that the current flows through the emitter. In other words, the emitter must become a part of the circuit itself. Here, the emitter is inserted into the in between the DC power supply and resistor. Measuring voltage is much easier compared to current. Using the same circuit, simply tap a voltmeter probe in parallel with the point that we wish to measure, but don't forget to consider its polarity. To measure a resistor, you only need the resistor itself and no other circuit connections. Just tap an ohmmeter in parallel with the resistor and you can disregard the polarity to measure it. End of second module. Now we have reached our third module. First, we will learn about the DC circuit. DC is a constant flow of electric charge with time. These are the examples of DC waveforms. DC electricity is a circuit. In the circuit consists of voltage, current and resistance. The flow of DC electricity is similar to the flow of water through a hose. Ideal voltage and current source supply fixed voltage and fixed current respectively. 
but ideal source does not exist and is only used in subjects to simplify circuit analysis. There are two types of voltage source, independent and dependent source. For a dependent voltage source, the voltage produced may depend on some other circuit variable, such as current or voltage. The symbol of a dependent source is a diamond shape. While for an independent voltage source, the output does not depend upon the voltage or current of any other part of the network. Symbol of an independent source is a circle. We will now learn on the second part which is the AC source. Circuits driven by sinusoidal current or voltage sources are called AC circuits. This is the symbol of an AC voltage. In an AC waveform, the polarity of the voltage is changed from positive to negative in one cycle. This is an example of AC electrical power plant. One way to generate an AC voltage is to rotate a coil of wire at constant angular velocity in a uniform magnetic field. The magnitude of the resulting voltage is proportional to the rate at which flux lines are cut. Some of the terms to learn on AC are cycle, period, peak value, peak to peak value, and frequency. For module 4, you can click on the video to learn about the atomic structure and electrical charge. Okay, this is our last module for this chapter. What is voltage? Voltage is the electrical pressure measured in volts. It is defined as energy of work per unit charge. One volt is the potential difference between two points when one joule of energy is used to move one column of charge from one point to another. Next, what is current? Current is the flow of charge from a voltage source and is defined as rate of flow of charge. 1 ampere is the amount of current that exists when a number of electrons having a total charge if one coulomb move through a given cross-sectional area in one second. Conductors allow current flow as it has a lower resistance, while insulators don't allow current flow due to its high resistance. So what is resistance? It is the opposition to current expressed in ohms. In a resistor, the voltage is proportional to the current I. So by Ohm's law, V is equal to I times R. This is the resistor color code. For the four band color code, the first band is the first digit of the resistance value. The second band is the second digit of the resistance value. The third band is the number of zeros following the second digit or the multiplier. And the fourth band indicates the percent tolerance and is usually gold or silver. Let's look at this resistor. The first band is brown, which indicates the first digit of the resistor is 1. The second band is black, means the second digit of the resistor is 0. The third band is green, means that the, there are 5 numbers of 0 to add. And the fourth band is silver, indicating the tolerance is 10%. So the value of this resistor is 1 mega ohm with 10% tolerance. You can try our extra examples on calculating voltage, current and resistor in our full lecture note. Alright, so that's all for today's class. Well, see you in the next class. Thank you for your attention.